Oh wow, it's such a beautiful card and I've just done Aquarius's reading and that was not their first card out but they had the star. Now when, when the star turned up for them we noticed quite a lot of light reflection coming into the reading. We could see rainbows and little sparkles of light everywhere. So there could well be that light there for you as well and I often think of it as spiritual energy so sometimes guardian angels uh, light bodies spirit guides things like that the star is one of the most loved cards in the deck and it often portends a degree of protection for you and it also helps to make any other card that comes out more favorable so if there's a card that has a bit of tension connected to it that tension is lowered and isn't as activated and if there are cards that are positive the positivity is imbued even more so it's a very loved and treasured card it says look to the future with hope and optimism the power of faith to move mountains and happy changes that br bring relief from challenging times so if any of you have been through challenging times which i'm sure most of us have over the last year and a bit know that you are being supported by the cosmic energy waves by your own higher self by your celestial helpers and in particular too there may be family members around who are on the other side who could be with you as well this is often a card that brings in some sort of spiritual resonance or spiritual energy line connected it also talks about balance and bringing a degree of balance into your life whether that's diet related or just balance about your perspectives and your behaviors and what you're doing so let's see what these other two cards are the nine of pentacles and the king of pentacles again these are great cards these bode very well in terms of finances in particular so the king of pentacles can sometimes be an earth sign person and it might be someone in your life it could also be a possibility that you meet someone like him so for some of you this could be a new love interest or it could be a family member uh, someone who is there for you in the way that they mention here so compassionate accomplished charismatic gifted it says be assertive when it comes to what you know is right everything's going your way and a good person or company to work for sometimes he does embody big corporations or companies or something in the legal realm or the political realm because fundamentally he does things right in life he's about kind of rule abiding i guess but he's very compassionate and accomplished and he does bode well for finances as well um, I also note this beautiful German Shepherd here for those of you who have a German Shepherd or who have had one who's passed over that's him coming in from the rainbow bridge to say hello see the light reflecting on the card there's no light here for me when I'm looking at it but it just seems to shine in through the camera at um, certain occasions so uh, some of you may need to pay heed to your pets and not necessarily just a German Shepherd dogs or cats you may get a new one in this month you may find that you have spirit guides come in and they might be animals and they might actually even be the dog just for you guys I might get the animal spirit cards out and see what the dog card actually says as well basically though for finances it feels confident it feels comfortable and it feels as though you could be enjoying something that your finances have brought into your life possibly so here we have the nine of autumn which is the nine of pentacles reward yourself for all your hard work being happily and successfully self-employed or cherishing your time alone she also sometimes reverberates the energy of social parties and gatherings and functions and attending soirees and you know summer events sometimes hosting them as well she's the hostess with the mostess often when it says being happily and successfully self-employed i've not known that in a message before some of you may be looking at being entrepreneurial starting a business up and it could be associated with this type of energy with a king of pentacles and it might be that you are looking to start something so this could be a very good time for that if that's the case otherwise yeah 
you make sure you do reward yourself and enjoy life and the this star will bring that energy field into these activities for you as well so let's see what else is here for leo for the month of june wow this is i don't know what is going on but again these are two cards that came out in the previous reading so the 10 of summer is a 10 of cups a very loved card an emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends, raising children wisely and people you can trust around you. And I have a feeling that it could have something to do with this guy here. He could potentially be a new employer or this person you might be seeking counsel on in terms of starting a new business or entrepreneurial or something to do with your money, whether it's loaning it, uh, investing it, selling something, buying something. This Five of Swords is a little bit about finding there could be some arguments around. The message of the card is more to say, be careful of the words you choose to use because if you are really fed up with someone or something and it, it's time to move them on, then this will happen when this card comes out. There could be discourse that leads to you all agreeing that th there's no reason to keep the relationship going anymore, that it's finished. These doesn't have, does, this doesn't have to be your intimate relationship. It can be friends, it can be co-workers, it could be family members. And sometimes we get to that point in life where it is just time to let people go. And if that's the case and you're happy to do it, that's all fine and good. But if there are people that you do treasure and value and trust, but for some reason you're having disagreements, then think carefully about what you're saying and maybe use a mediator or someone to help bring resolution in. It does say that there may have been some dishonest associations around you, and if that is the case, they perhaps will walk away and leave your life because you've got the star in, which is bringing this positivity, like dulling this down and having that less of a problem. Let's see what else is in store here for Leo for June. And May, if you're listening from May, this is for Leo. What is it you would like them to see, know, understand, work with? Here we are. Two more from here. Unity and the Two of Spring. And again, these two have been out before for the month. I'm, I feel as if everyone is getting to a degree, a similar pattern. So it's almost as if we're going through some global field all together at the same time. There's something broad that's happening that's taking us all in a certain direction, or a lot of us will be experiencing similar experiences, for the want of a, a better analogy here. Again, uh, this is a really good card. This one here says do the right thing for the right reason. And we just talked about that over here with the five of swords that came out. Compare traditional versus new approaches to see which works for you and being around a spiritually minded community. The two of wands is a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity partnering with others who share your dreams and great progress being made. So it's a wonderful card. It's very creative. It can be referring to a career, new ideas, concepts, maybe entrepreneurial, starting up your own business for some of you. That brings back this energy of this guy here and also brings the star in because the star is helping to embellish this creativity and these ideas and cosmic energy coming into you. So a lot of opportunities, I think, for many people to come back and feel alive again, perhaps from the cathartic drollness that we'd been put into over the, perhaps the last year. A lot of people have stepped back or just been getting about their routine day, you know, just going, I've got to go to work, I'll do that. I'll come home, I'm a bit blah, I'm trying to work through a lot of stresses in life, I'm dealing with relationship things or monetary things, or I do I want to be in the same career I've done all this time? How are my family going? How am I going? So all of these things have been going on in the background for many, many people, and I think we're waking up out of, out of the 
not necessarily the stupor, but we're waking up out of an idea or a direction that we were headed in, and we a lot of us are making changes and beginning beginning new projects and new ideas. But number five, the uni unity card, he does talk about compare traditional versus new approaches. So this often talks about faith-based things or the church or big institutions and again government type institutions as well. Some of you may be thinking of philosophical or spiritual or religious things. You might change your aspect of, of that in life. You might start some new learnings or look into something a new way. Some of you may go back to more traditional perspectives and some of you might be in involved with things that happen in a church such as church services or marriages or christenings or things along those lines as well. Let's have a look now in here for you to see what's coming through with the Tony Salerino cards. The Angel of Prayer. Ask the universe and the angels for help and guidance. So if some of you have been feeling flat or at a bit of a loss or finding things have been tenuous or even a bit too much over a period of time, remember to ask because if we forget to ask for assistance and we just trundle along by our own accord trying to get everything done, it's much harder. Many hands make light work and it's not just hands, it's obviously energy fields. So asking for help from the cosmic realm can bring about manifestation more. It can help to ease burdens. It can help to open creativity. So especially if some of you are being creative and you have something that you are wanting to expand more on, but you've reached a block or you can't quite get to the next level, put these two together and really activate the energy of the ability to hear the messages from the cosmic beings, uh, to hear your higher self, to feel the creativity from the power of, of the source energy and ask for the help and support that you need, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, whether it's to do with career or finances or health or friends. Ask. So that's what they're saying there. What else is in here for Leo? God of the arts, the artist within you is about to emerge. It's, I felt that there's this creativity that might open up for you. So some of you might be verging into, as we said, self-employment or exploration of how to perhaps supplement an income even or make more money or you have got this burst of creativity that is coming within. The God of the arts, let me read to you from the book for that one. This, brought, this will mean more to some of you than others. The true artist within you is about to emerge. You will soon feel a strong urge to express yourself creatively. This creative expression will lead you to the new and exciting ventures, projects and ideas. Expressing yourself creatively will also help you to balance and heal your emotions, which in turn will help balance and heal you physically. This is a time to be authentic and true to yourself. Allow yourself to express all you feel without reservation or judgment. Honour the inner child within you and just be you. You can express yourself artistically in endless ways. Painting, sculpture, dancing, singing, playing a musical instrument, gardening, knitting, carpentry, woodwork, poetry and writing are but a few of the many ways in which you can express yourself imaginatively and creatively. And I also see the message there said, it helps to bring the child out in you. Now, nearly all of the other readings so far have also had that message of indulging yourself and bringing out the child energy, energy and not being afraid of that. And it's almost as if we're being told to give ourselves a break and to free ourselves up from worry or doubt or fear, especially fear that's been traversing the planet, and to embody some joy and harmony and happiness in our lives. And one last one from that deck, the goddess of nature. You reap what you sow. Your dream is coming to fruition. So another message to say that along with the star, there's 
gold dust in the air here for you guys. There's positivity coming. It's time to throw away any shackles, to open up your vibe, to get into that creativity, to become alive again if we've been in a stupor of any sorts, to re-engage with the activities of life and the power that that gives us back as humans as well. Because there is, it's a really strong force field of energy when we are happy and connected with ourselves in the act of play or creativity. Trustworthy guidance. You've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. And we talked about the prayer card came out before and said, ask for help. And this help might well be just to expand your ideas and create them, to bring them in from the thought field up here and put them down on paper here, which allows you to bring it into this reality, to manifest it. The idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it, knowing that we are with you every step of the way. So you have got some guidance. And that was the very first card out, was the star with the guidance that was coming in. And it was saying to you, you know, helpers from the celestial realm were coming in. And see what I said about light might come across. You're reading at different times when the star card is around. And we can see the light that's coming in through there. Uh, so that's projecting itself across and through to this idea, which is also receiving the light. One more for you. So it feels like quite a creative time coming for you, Leos. And if you don't feel any of this, and if you don't feel creative, call upon the help that's there. Call upon the external forces to allow the creativity, innocence and the heart chakra. So innocence is seeing everything in love and not holding people accountable to um, perhaps things they may have said or done because they say here in real terms everyone is innocent and that, that everyone is guiltless in truth as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger or blame that may shroud your loving outlook. I see a little baby there as well, so that comes back to the inner child too, perhaps, and really encompassing that energy again. Uh, it may also refer to babies for some of you and children who might be in your life that need uh, some of this ideas or concepts sent their way. The heart chakra is beautiful in so many ways. It talks about what it says, love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being, attuned most to love. It is safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart. Now, sometimes I find that when this card comes in, it is a message from past over loved ones, and they are just reconnecting with you and letting you know you're not alone. And of course, we said that when we had the star card here, and I said that these stars around here can be guides, guardian angels, spirit guides, but they can also be passed over loved ones. So some of you may have lost someone that's dear to you through a heart-related incident, whether it be a heart attack or um, a cancer that might have been in that area. So they might very well be here just wrapping you in the tender energy of love and protection. I said I would get the beautiful um, animal spirit deck out and that was on the very bottom of them. But I've just picked the deck up out of the box and that's the lion spirit, which of course is you guys. I always, when I do the Leos, I always think of that beautiful animal, the lion. And it says be generous of spirit. So even though I was looking up the dog, not the lion, I want to put that down because it was right on the bottom of the deck and you are the Leo energy. So I will now just find the dog card and what's barking in the background. The dog. There's our, there's our connection of synchronicities and energies. So I'll be with you again in a second. So there's our beautiful dog spirit. And it's not a, board, a German Shepherd, but rather a Border Collie. Uh, the number's 19, which adds up to 1. And so is the Lion spirit um, adding up to 1 as well. So two ones that have come in for you. So I will read to you what the dog spirit talks about. But it says, be loyal to what you love. 
because of course dogs are known for their loyalty. Some of you may have a border collie in your life or may have had a border collie as well who's also coming through. I'm getting the feeling that there were, there's a lot of spirit energy around for the readings at the moment, especially today. I'm not actually sure why, but they're definitely making their presence felt and the animals are definitely working that way too. So let me read to you the dog spirit. I'll just zoom that in a little bit more. Dog spirit appears to remind you that although change is part of life and all of us are meant to evolve, our love and commitments remain strong. You are loved now and can trust that this higher love is true. Spirit loves you and love has arrived in many forms, manifesting in the people you surround yourself with, expressed uniquely through them. Dog spirit also says be true to that which you love for now is a time of good fortune. Be steady as you recognize that people and things are always transforming. Your heart is loving and true and dog spirit wants you to know that your steadfast commitment to experiencing and expressing love will attract and manifest more love. You deserve all of it. Have faith in spirit's plan for you. That's beautiful because remember what was the last card that we had before that, which is just under it, heart chakra, love is the heart of the matter. And the dog spirit was also talking about love. So within this reading, they're telling you to, to be out there and to be ready to change and be generous of spirit and be loyal to what you love to feel love, to bring the presence of love in. There's this possibility of a love, new love interest for some of you. There's love of people surrounding you. There's love of what you do. There's love of understanding the concepts of expansion and growth and change as well. So what a lovely reading for you guys. I hope you've really enjoyed it. There's been some beautiful energies that have come in through their own individual ways of attracting attention and I'm just looking at that face of the border collie. So as we sign off for this reading I thank you all for joining me for subbing the channel for liking the video and leaving your comments as well. I won't be putting the comments up until I've checked them all because there are some weird as wackadoodle web bot things that have infected my channel there for some reason they're after me and what I say and do which is probably quite a privilege really to think that they're bothered with me they most of them seem to be from some you know eastern european block country but if you clicked on the links that they're putting up or the things they're saying they then get into your accounts and information and that's not good for any of us so that's why i'm just uh, restricting the comments until i've checked them all so anyhow we won't let that affect the energies here